Hello Scorpios, this is your December reading. <clears throat> I know I'm late, but your girl has had a lot going on, so that's that. Let's see what's going on with you guys this month. I will come right back within a few days with um, some mid-months for you guys. And I want to short you. could be an earth energy that is significant to you guys. Somebody that you feel like um, uh, maybe they try too hard or something like that. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Let's see what's, what's the energy around Scorpios. Energy around Scorpios. Knight of Pentacles, Taurus energy, somebody that takes too long to um, um, initiate something. I'm feeling like this person tries not, not to be hard, but tries to act like they don't really like you as much as they really do, is what I'm getting, okay? I feel like this energy is somebody that's exterior to you. Let's see what's crossing you guys here. We're crossing them. Seven of Swords. I feel like, um, you know, I don't know if this is good for your ego. Good for you. Um, so what's challenging you is for you to do what's best for you. If this person is acting or playing hard to get, um, maybe that's not the person for you is what I'm getting here. Uh, this is Aquarius energy. So if they're sticking to their guns and they're acting like, you know, really nonchalant and acting like they could like, you know, give or take you, then maybe it's best for you to, to move on and do what's best for Scorpio. Okay. Stand your ground. Let's see. What is the underlying issue here for my Scorpios? the sign. Hmm. I think this is for you to be sure of yourself. Be sure of your movements. Be confident in yourself, okay? Because I think that this person tries to make you feel like you ought to be, um, you know, glad that they're interested or glad that they're entertaining you, but no. No, 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 no. Okay? Um, have enough confidence in yourself to know that you're deserving of someone that's going to be upfront with you, that's going to give you what you give them. You shouldn't have to work that hard for it, okay? So your self-confidence is what is like the issue here. Knowing yourself, what you want and what you deserve, okay, guys? Leo energy. All this is fixed energy right here, okay? Let's see in a recent past for my Scorpios. The Magician. This is Gemini, Virgo. I feel like um, your energy at certain, you know, um, at certain times, you know, with the magician, this is all about, you know, using everything in your skill set to achieve what it is that you want and desire and need in your life. So, but on the on the flip side of this, though. You know, the magician can be kind of manipulative. And this Knight of Pentacles, which is, which is, you know, I feel like this is the other person. I feel like this person is using some form of manipulation to get you to do things that they want you to do. And one of those things is playing hard to get. One of those things is trying to make you feel like, you know, you ought to be glad that I like you. You ought to be glad that I'm interested in you. Take what I give you because I'm this and I'm that. You know, this is how I feel like this person is coming across to you. And and something in you is almost believing that, you know, you really have to work for this person. Okay? What about them working for you? Because, I mean, you're entitled to have what, what makes you happy. You're entitled to have someone look at you and feel like you're a prize. Because you are. Okay? But you need to know that you're a prize. Okay, guys? Crowning thoughts for Scorpio. Ace of Swords, you want to be victorious. You want to know the truth. You want to, um, you, you want this person to say what's on their mind and mean what they say. Okay? It's like, I mean, just be straight up with me. Do you like me or you don't? Do you want to be with me or you don't? You know? 
So what's coming in for my Scorpios? Queen of Cups. I see you guys walking away and doing your own thing, um, doing what's best for you. I do see that um, there's a situation that is coming towards you guys that you're going to be, um, you know, happy in, okay, content in, possibly even a relationship. But I see you leaving this person um, in their own shit to fester, whatever, whatever it is they've created. Because I'm, I'm getting that this person really um, is kind of full of themselves here, okay? How is Scorpio viewing this situation? Eight of Cups. <laughs> it's not working for you. This current situation is not working for you. Piscean energy, walking away. You're determined to leave this behind. Because it's not doing it for you, okay? What is the influence here for Scorpios? Seven of Wands. You're defending yourself. You're defending what you believe in. You're defending your boundaries. Okay? You're defending what you know is right. And I feel like this is your self-esteem. I feel like this is your these are your actions. Um, you know, your personality. I feel like you you're defending who you are, your essence, okay? Again, Leo energy. Hopes or fears for Scorpio. Nine of Wands. You guys are tired. But, um, and I feel like you've given a lot to this connection. And, um, you know, you, you've been through the fire. You've been through a battle with this person. A battle of wills with this person. And I feel like um, your hope is that you know you will be able to move on and um, you know keep your boundaries right there and attain the things that you feel like you deserve in your life okay I do feel like um, you will be able to stand your ground and stand up to this person I feel like that is is part of like what your hope is you want to be able to stand up for yourself and mean it and um, and, and not waver from that okay because <clears throat> I think a lot of times you give in just um, because it's kind of hard, you know, to say no to this person or to let go of this person even. Sagittarius energy there. What is the overall outcome here for Scorpios? Three of Cups. Having a good time. Sharing your emotions with friends and family. That is what this is. Just having that camaraderie with with people in your family, with um, you know, with um, with friends, with coworkers, um, just sharing in emotional situations here. Going out, dating. Some of you are leaving. Um, Either you've already left a connection or you're leaving a connection. And I, I'm seeing that you guys are going to be fine with that. Once you make the decision to like, you know, really establish your boundaries and stick to it. Um, yeah, I, I see you moving on, being able to move forward. I don't see you guys really wanting to be like in, in a full-blown relationship. Um quite yet I do see you like going out and, and just creating that space for yourself to be able to meet someone that actually vibes with you and accepts you for who you are and does not make you feel like um, you should be happy to have them on your arm you know so cancer energy there that's what I have for you there for <laughs> that's what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye